This is a coffee cup. This is a coffee cup that will make you happy. This is one of Martha Stewart's many products for the home. One of the questions that Martha Stewart says she asked her team of designers and herself about what they sell is, is this something that will make you happy? Is this something you would want in your home? Now, it's totally possible to see this question as an endorsement of crafts materialism. But what if, instead of seeing this question as a version of the tacky capitalist promise that things will bring you happiness, instead we saw it as a starting point for an investigation of the ways that we can use designed objects to make our everyday experiences more meaningful. The attractive design of Martha Stewart's stuff is a significant feature of her corporation's success, and the design of her product packaging is no exception. The design of her product packaging strongly connects to core brand values. Set out in an annual report, Martha states, every home is a canvas. Homes reflect our dreams and aspirations for living every day to its fullest. These values are reinforced by brand packaging. Martha Stewart products are distinguished by welcoming, refined colors, like we see on the salt mill here. The box functions almost as an elegant shadow box, the soft turquoise blue offering a nice contrast to the stainless steel and lucite the mill is made of. On one of the product sides, there's a narrative which reads, even the most perfect dishes require some seasoning to bring out the best flavors. Keep essential seasonings at your fingertips with our convenient salt and pepper mills, and your food will be made more delicious in the kitchen and at the table. These bits of text are known as package narratives. Martha Stewart's products make strong use of narratives to connect with consumers. For example, almost all dinnerware packaging describes the importance of setting an interesting and elegant table, telling buyers, a table is like an artist's canvas. The options are infinite. Complement your dinnerware with dishes in different patterns to add texture to your table or coordinate pattern dishes with solid color ones. Remember, People eat with their eyes first, so the way food is served is just as important as the ingredients. By defining the merchandise as high quality, narratives invite buyers to purchase these products over other brands and to feel smart by doing so. Continuous references to homekeeping as a sophisticated art requiring hard work and intelligence flatter consumers by suggesting they're discerning and capable. In this way, Martha Stewart ritualizes her home products. Religious studies scholar Catherine Bell describes ritualization as a way of acting that is designed to distinguish what is being done in comparison to other more mundane or everyday activities. In this way, ritualization is a way to set some activities apart from others, a way to create a distinction between the sacred and the profane. By framing homekeeping as special, Martha Stewart positions domestic activities as a valuable practice. By framing design as important to living well, Martha Stewart places design at the center of sophisticated domestic practices. Together, these two aspects argue that domesticity should have a place of pride and importance in American culture, along with a well-designed coffee cup. Really, dude? Come on. Yeah. Hmm? This is getting photobombed by your own cat. <laughs>